Okay, let me just show you how good looking this game is on uh, Xbox One upscale. And here, here, here's my controller. Here, so you can see it. Narrow, there's zero lag. Let me reload. Hold on. Already reload. Let's do. Let's do really fast. So you're seeing exactly how I'm playing. All right. Look at that shadow. Does this look like a like a lag to you? Look at the clouds. And yes, it is the Xbox One S version. Hold on. There. So you guys know that I'm running it upscaled on the Xbox One S. Can I play this on my TV, my 55 inch TV? You guys have to remember, I'm too far away from this TV. I'm zoomed in here. If I was to walk in, it would, you know, it would be much bigger. So here, just to show that there is no lag, because I know you guys want to see this, like this. Does this look like a lag to you? Look how fast it is. Okay, let's go back. Let's explore some more. Look at this lag. This unbelievable lag. Oh my god. So much lag here. Wow. And just look how beautiful it looks upscaled through uh, Xbox One S. Just look at that detail. And when I'm talking about detail, I'm talking about four times over sampling the images meaning the images are being doubled four times upscaled and yes Xbox One S does a little bit better but here's the key here's the point that everyone seems to be missing not only trolls they seem to be missing this point but who cares about the trolls no one cares about the trolls I know that most of my subscribers they understand this the key is the calibration and when I'm talking about calibration what am I talking about what 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 is that adjusting the tv settings now how many of you really know how to adjust the tv settings i'm just asking how many of you know what the uh, gamma stands for yes you can google it but do you know the true definition of it how many of you know what saturation is and how many of you understand the contrast ratio and what is that ratio of contrast me of uh, contrast means you know what is the main uh, what is the main purpose of RGB and Y you've seen that why right? or Y and P and C and X Y all these things you know look man you have to study this you, you know I went to the video production to study this stuff on color correction principal photography I went to an art institute of Fort Lauderdale uh, video production school I studied this you know you gotta know how to properly calibrate let me show you something okay this is me okay let me show you something Wait, this is me I use the game as just as a reference but all of these right here I calibrated myself this is me calibrating this myself now look what happens if I go to a uh, standard mode that the TV set came in with look what happens Hold on, where's the standard mode? Look at it, it looks god awful. And let's reset the standard mode. Let's go here, let's reset the uh, standard mode. Let's see what happens. Hold on. 
It's already reset, but look, look at it. It doesn't look that good at all. Now, let me go back to mine, the one that I did. And look at the difference. Look at the difference. Like night and day. Look at that. This is why you got to know how to calibrate. What sort of filters to use, uh, which ones not to use, and all that stuff, man. I mean, look. Granted, this game, it, it looks beautiful, even without being upscaled to uh, PlayStation, uh, I mean, Xbox One S, but still, it looks great. Here, I'll, leave, I'll even get closer for you guys if you want me to, here. Look at that leg. Here, let me calibrate my uh, gamma some more. Do you guys know what the comma, gamma stands for? Hold on, let me calibrate it. Here, I calibrated my gamma even more. And look at the detail now. Look at this detail. Now, it's everything's more lifelike, more naturally lifelike. You see how the sun overshadows the weapon? And then when I get to the light, it shows up a little bit more. You can see so much far in the detail. You can even see some rockets being... Uh, uh, hold it, it's right here. There, you can see a rocket or something that's being just... being shot over. Okay, let me adjust my gamma to normal like I did before. There. Oops, I have died. Remember, I'm using a one hand because I just want to show you uh, the video from this angle. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. I mean, uh, there is no lag and it looks fantastic on the upscaled 4K. You can even see the smoke popping out. Look, look how clearly you can see that smoke coming out are you gonna see that you know how you can see that because I'm using a, a certain calibration here let me show you one more time my calibration so that way you guys don't have to ask me over and over again you can pause the video this is my calibration hopefully you guys will pause the video and write this down okay I'm hoping you guys pause the video and now pressing play Here's my other settings. Keep the temperature cool, black detail high, active LED zones on because you don't want that LED lights to go burn your eyes. Reduce jitter, keep it at five. Clear action off, those filters you want off because if you turn them on, you'll have flickering on your TV. It's just to look nasty. Here, it just looks nasty. Yeah, it does help the picture move a little bit faster, but I, I usually turn that off. I turn that off. Game low latency, you, you can turn that on if you want, but I recommend, uh, I don't use it because it's still, it adds too much pressure to your processing on your TV, so I would turn that off. I would keep this on automatic, fill mode, color mode, automatic, and then gamma here, 2.4. You want to keep that gamma at 2.4. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully, the second part of uh, Destiny shows you why calibration is really important. Forget about the upscaling for a moment. Think about the calibration. Sure, upscale helps, but calibration is the key. There you have it.